when Nigerians were all sleeping. This was what APC was planning. I've always said this, that APC came to steal, kill, and destroy. They came to loot the, our country dry. And I still don't get it. This government is just one year old. They still have three years to go, and you are already planning of 2027. I really don't blame them because we Nigerians are used to suffering and smiling, just like Fela once said, suffering and smiling. And that is the plain truth because they know what happened in 2023 and they are bent in repeating the same thing in 2027. And that is why they have positioned everybody for 2027, including the judges, including INEC. Now tell me, what is Tinumbu going to campaign on for 2027? Somebody should please tell me. Because as for me, honestly speaking, I don't see anything that he has done that will elevate him to becoming Nigerian's president in 2027. But let me shock you. If I would say that if care is not taken, he is still going to be there 2027. You know why? Because Nigerians don't care. Let us take a tour of how things were when he took over and how things are now that he is president. Let us look at food inflation. Before Tidumbu came to power, food inflation was 24.82%. And now, food inflation is about 40.54%, which is about 37.2% increase. So what about interest rate? When Tinumbu took over from Buhari, interest rate was about 18%. But now it is shocking to know that interest rate is about 26.25%, which is about 45.83% increase. Tell me, if you are a businessman, would you take loan from the government with this kind of interest? I leave that for you to answer. Now, let us see what our public debt was. When Tunubu, uh, when Tunubu took over from Buhari, our public debt was about 87.38 trillion. Right now, we are at 97.34 trillion, which is about 11.4% increase. That is this something that Tunumbu will campaign on in 2027? Going forward, let us look at our foreign reserve. When Tunumbu took over, our foreign reserve was about $35.09 billion. Right now, we are at $32.74 billion, which is 6.68 degrees. And yet, this man is bent on campaigning for 2027 on his first year in office. Now, let us look at insecurity. We all agree that insecurity is everybody's problem and is everybody's matter. But the government has a duty to protect its citizen. Now, when Tinumbu took over, how many people were killed? How many were kidnapped? Not to talk of the way banditry increased. Look at the agitation 
in the southeast look at the agitation even in the north if you ask me i don't even know what they are agitating in the north i could understand what they are agitating in the east they want biafra but do they want the same in the north no but a kidnapping increased people were asking of ransom and they are paying that ransom hiddenly thinking that we are not going to know if there's one thing i would like to say about insecurity in nigeria believe me i will give kudos to our policemen and our army officers for putting their lives on the line to save the citizens of nigerians why am i saying this most of the things agitations and everything happening is caused by the government but yet these people go all the way out they put their life on the line some even are killed in the process and a lot of women are left husbandless a lot of kids are left fatherless because of politics and yet it marvels me that a lot of people are not seeing this from my own point of view just go out on the street now and ask any student or any child that when you grow up what do you want to be he will just simply tell you that i want to be a politician when i grow up ask him why he will simply say that is where the money is but one thing that child doesn't know is that all the money these politicians are flaunting are stolen money they are your money and my money that is what they steal they flaunt it about they become rich they become wealthy and that is the reason why that child thinks that being a politician is the best thing in life if nigerians can pass a law that says any politician that steals public fund will be executed i bet you a lot of politicians will retire back home because a lot of them that are there right now cannot do without stealing if you look at the political scenario in the whole nigeria if you want to count the politicians that are good i can only tell you that we have probably just one percent of them just one percent and that is the plain truth because every other person that has fought so hard to be in power came there not to do anything but to loot the country dry starting from the house of assembly to the senate and from the senate to the presidency from the presidency to the ministers all of them they have they have only one agenda and that is to loot the country dry and at the end every debt that is piling up in that country will be paid by me and you now let us see how nigerians are reacting to this tinumbu's bill board for 2027 this person said bro as much as it is amusing he said that to you i am rudely reminded of a comment by a formerly respected fellow here yeah, pre-elections when he turned that then let bart win it 2027 eh i go vote bart it will be my first time voting for anything apc and i will be proud to do it the truth is every citizen has the right to choose and vote whoever he or she wants to vote but we are talking about voting competence the next person says we plenty on top of this table 2027 is payback time 
well i really don't know what you meant by that but i mean it's your choice again and this other person says we are voting a mother parallel in 2027 make everywhere st- still then think say na person them they threaten again you are free to vote whoever you so desire it is your right as a citizen i'm not gonna campaign for anybody but let us not complain at the end thanks for watching